Uh, as the former Jets uh, rider to play an exhibition game, uh, we talked about Winnipeg being a great place to play. Do you think there's ever a chance that Winnipeg will get a team back again, or, or has the economics changed? Well, I was, if, there's, if the mayor has anything to do with it, it will be back here. I just talked to them briefly back at stage there. Uh, I think everybody has made their feelings uh, clear for a long time, though, that they would love to see the NHL back here. And uh, for me personally, um, growing up in Edmonton, Alberta, being a, from a small town in Canada, coming here and seeing the passion that was here uh, throughout my career, and how much the Winnipeg Jets meant to the people here, and we saw it when they left, the, the emotions that came out in so many people and players alike. Uh, it was a tough, uh, tough time, and um, you know, for me, the more the more teams in Canada, uh, you know, the better, and hopefully one day that the uh, NHL will come back here. But the landscape of the of the uh, league has changed uh, dramatically uh, from when, uh, even from when the team left. Um, I think the, uh, the cost certainty of owning a team now and, and uh, the money that it takes in order to, uh, to ice a team now is, uh, is something that cost certainty or the salary cap is, uh, has provided with the owners there and it would have to be something that an owner that came in here that brought the team in here would have to, uh, to work on. Uh, I can't really answer those questions uh, for me personally. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer it more from the emotional standpoint, uh, and of course uh, I know uh, uh, how much I love playing here and how much the people uh, loved the hockey when I was when I did come here with the Oilers. I see you back in the NHL either as a coach or in management. <clears throat> well, I think uh, it's it's definitely something that when I retired I knew at some point or felt at some point that I would get back into the game because hockey is what I know best. Uh, um, I thought it was important for me after playing 26 years professionally and another how many years in minor hockey that uh, I had a chance to kind of uh, uh, regroup and do some things I hadn't done in a long time. Um, I'd started a young family just as I was retiring so the last four years have been uh, an incredible experience for me uh, to be home every day with my kids as they're growing up and although though my Youngest boy isn't playing hockey. My older boy, who's 21, is at the Rangers uh, camp right now. So that's uh, that's nice, and I'm proud of that. So at some point, uh, when the opportunity is right, I'd love to get back in. I can't really put a timetable on that because, of course, there has to be an opportunity, and there has to be the right fit. Coaching isn't all about X and O's and strategy. I really believe coaching, and the best coaches develop relationships with their players so they can extract their best potential out of those players through interpersonal relationships and that takes a tremendous amount of effort and work uh, to, uh, to have those relationships. I had to do it as a captain uh, and as a coach it's the same thing and I, I don't know if I was quite ready for that and, I, and when I retired I said I think I have to retire because I've run out of speeches. <laughs> my priorities changed and uh, winning uh, at one point in my life was the only thing that mattered and when that kind of Wayne and I knew it was time to retire.